part of this core value really determines, you know, what type of community you want. So basically in Costa Rica, there's two ways to build community. You can build what's called an agricultural community. That's just a legal term, agricultural community. And basically it says anything along a public road, you can do anything you want. So if you have a public road, if you want a thousand square meter lot, a hundred square meter lot, a 10,000 square meter, you can do whatever you want on a public road. But once you go internally into the community, then every lot has to be 5,000 square meters because it was meant to be for farms. Minimum of 5,000 square meters. Minimum of 5,000 square meters. Yeah. So those are very big lots. So basically what you wind up with is a very monoculture rich community because every lot is 5,000 square meters. Every lot's expensive. So there's no diversity. The good part is that they're easy to do. You know, they're not expensive. There's not a lot of regulation. And most Costa Rican communities, that's the way they're built. They're built as agricultural communities. And these type of communities are basically, you know, monocultured, rich communities. Mm -hmm. But when you say monocultured, you're not talking about planting monocultured plants. Yeah, no. Oh, no, no, no. We're not even talking about that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at the residential retirement communities in Costa Rica, right? They don't even know what permaculture is. So by monoculture, you're talking about each lot is kind of homogenized in its shape and yeah, characteristics. Yeah, and I'm talking about the person who lives there is homogenized. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, because of, of, of the cost of the lot, you know? Uh-huh. So you're, you're taking people, by my monoculture, you're talking about people coming from a more conventional mindset. Exactly. Okay. So that was never an option for us because one of our core values was diversity. So the second way to do community in Costa Rica is called filial condominium, horizontal filial condominium. And our concept of condominium, you know, let's bypass that for a minute. Condominium in Costa Rica is just a legal term. Okay. So what that basically says along a public road, again, you want a hundred, 500,000 square meters, doesn't matter. But when you go internally, if you'll adhere to all the condominium rules of Costa Rica, as far as water, as far as waste, as far as the number of fire hydrants, as far as the size of the roads, as far as setting up your homeowners association, those are all governed by Costa Rican law, then you can master plan the community. So you could have a 10,000 square foot lot next to a 60,000 square foot lot. You could have a $50,000 lot next to a $350,000 lot. And that's what brings in diversity. The negative part takes a really long time to do, especially, you know, for us, it was during COVID. So, you know, it wasn't like all of these permitting people were sitting in one place working, you know, they're spread out in their homes all over the country. So it wasn't like you could go visit them and say what's happening. So the permitting is much, much harder. It's much, much stricter. It takes a really long time. It's really expensive. You know, you have to have attorneys that do this for you. And you have to cross all your T's and dot all your I's. And, you know, you need engineering. And, you know, if you're going to present to, the, you know, the minister of water, there's a way to follow it. But what you get in return is you get a diversified community. Because the lots don't have a minimum or the minimum is much smaller? Well, the, they don't have a minimum. You can make them anything mm -hmm. you want. You know, so you can have a diversity of pricing, okay? And by having this diversity of pricing, you bring in a more diverse community. And that's what happened. So I could tell you at Alegria, there were 145 lots. We have upwards of 135 sold. I, I think we're close to about 140. We have very few lots left. We have 37 countries represented. We have 20% Costa Rican. I think there's two Costa Rican lots left, which is our proudest achievement. That was really, really hard to do. Yeah, we have from mid twenties to you know my age, or, you know mid seventies. What's the smallest lot that you've sold? I think around eight thousand square feet, about eighty square meters. Eighty square meters, okay. maybe nine hundred square feet. Okay, so it's just a little residential house site. Yeah, yeah, type. residential house. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then the largest, you know, a little under two acres. <laughs>